Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at the KDE system tray. I've had a lot of comments over the last month of people having issues with the system tray. They're missing icons from the system tray or they've tried to customize it and it's messed up and they're just at their wits end because they can't fix it. I'm going to show you how you can take care of that today. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member right here on eBuzz Central, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. So you've installed a distribution with KDE. You've updated it. You've put all the applications you want on it. So now you're customizing your system tray and all of a sudden something disappears and you can't get it back. Let me show you something right off the bat. Okay. Let's say you've made changes. Let's say you've made adjustments and you're missing things and you can't get them to come back and you're just at your wits end and you wish you could just start over. Here's how you start over. Okay. Go to the panel, right click, enter edit mode. Okay. And as you hover across, you'll see right there's a widget that shows desktop. There's a widget that shows pager. Let's say you've accidentally removed those. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of pager. And you've messed your system tray and you just want to start over. Just click remove. It's gone. Okay. Come back down to the panel. Right click. Enter edit mode. Zip on over to add widgets. And search for system tray. Once you see it, click on it and hold, drag it over, and drop. And you get your system tray completely back the way it was when you first installed it. Now, so you don't think that I'm making this up, watch this. Let's go ahead and right click, enter edit mode. Let's say we want to remove, let's configure, and go to entries. These are the things that are shown down here. And you've decided you want to hide that, you want to hide that, you want to hide volume control, you apply, everything's disappeared, you can't get it back, and it's just messed up. So go ahead and right click, enter edit, come over here, remove system tray, close, right click again, enter edit mode, go to add widgets, look up system tray, click, hold, drag it over, and drop it and everything's back. Back to the way it was when you first installed it, okay? Now, if you want to adjust and make changes to what you show down here, you've got two different options, okay? Let's close that out. This is the Manjaro News. I don't keep this on my system tray. If you got something there you don't want, just right click, quit it, arrow up. It shows you what's in here. One thing you do want to check, especially in the system tray, because you'll see it quite often, is zip over to your system settings. Once those are opened up, go to auto start. Here are the programs that auto start when you boot your system up. Now, like the Yakuaki, I went ahead and remove it. Matray, go ahead and remove it. I don't want it popping up down here. As a matter of fact, if you want to take it to the next step, you can always go over to add and remove software. And if those applications are just something you don't need on your system, like, I'm going to go ahead and do a search for Matray. There it is. I'm just going to trash it. And it's no longer on my system. I can do the same thing with Yakuaki. Okay, it's no longer in my system tray. It is no longer on my auto start, and it will not show up in my panel anymore. Now, if you want to make specific adjustments to things that show or don't show in the panel, it's simple. Just right-click, Edit Panel, hover over your system tray, and go to Configure. Let's move this over. Go to Entries, and this is everything that has access to the system tray, okay? Like your Package Manager. It's showing right here. I've got 356 available updates. That's going to show. Now, if I wanted to... Right now, it's showing when relevant. If I wanted to just hide it, always hidden, apply, it wouldn't even pop up down here on my system tray, okay? But I want to know about those updates, so I'm going to show when relevant. So when there is updates, it'll let me know, apply it, and it's right there. 
You can do this with everything that you have down here. We've got clipboard, night color control, like night color control is right here under system services. Show when relevant. If you don't want to see it, just come down here, click on always hidden, apply. And when you come up here, night color control is gone. So you can adjust that. You can do always hidden. Sometimes you just have to disable it. But if you disable it on the system tray, doesn't mean that you can't go over to your system settings, do a search for night color. There's night color. Let's go ahead and click on that. Then you can adjust it right here. That's up to you. I mean, if you want it down here, you can have it down here. I'm going to go ahead and show when relevant and apply. And then when you go in here, it's there. Okay. What I'm telling you is, is you've got plenty of different ways you can customize your system tray down here. But don't forget and don't panic because what a lot of people do is they get everything set up. They screw up something on the panel or they screw up their system tray and they're just like, oh, like the commenter I had yesterday got so frustrated with it. He said, I'm leaving Linux and I'm going back to Windows. And I was trying to explain everything to him through messages and I guess I just wasn't getting through. But don't forget, there's always the option. Just right click, edit panel, hover over your system tray, remove it. Then right click on your panel, enter edit mode, zip over to add widgets, look up system tray. There it is right there, just click and hold, drag it over, drop, and everything is back, okay? So you can't mess it up too bad. And then if you want your show desktop back down there beside it, show desktop. There it is. Click hold, drag, drop, and your show desktop's back. If you want your pager back, which shows your different desktops, there's your pager. Just click on it, drag it, drop it. And then you can actually move them around if you want. So let's go ahead and close that, right click. Enter edit mode. Let's say you want to move the desktop on the other side of pager. Drag and drop it. You're good to go. So just don't panic. There's a lot of videos online that'll help you. All you got to do is look them up. That's it. So did this information in this video help any? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member right here on eBuzz Central, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next video.